friends, Princess here, and welcome back to To the Moon. Um, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, the soccer ball. Um, we got all kinds of memories, and now we really gotta, like, hella... We gotta, like, go. We gotta, like, try and... Try and get to these memories. <laughs> to think that this little thing is causing us so much trouble. I just want to kick it out into outer space. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and hope. Well, ready? The absolute panic of the doctor. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. What's going on? Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over from me, Lily. His condition has been stabilized. Intake levels must become reconfigured. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. You've gotta be kidding. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out under this state, all our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you frickin'. Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being here too? Get the hell out of here. Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than the roadkill. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the extra entrance exams. Wow. So Neil's a fraud. Just kidding. <gasps> Doctor? I think we're okay for now. Whew, some stress. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks. Wait a minute. Yeah, and at the last Christmas party, you... Oh. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, you know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? What am I supposed to do? Do I have to soccer ball it again? Here goes nothing. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? Seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you not notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Er, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I, I suppose not? Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. The fuck did you see? I didn't see anything. Tiny Johnny, right out here. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. Hi, who the fuck are you? Okay. Da -da -da. Sorry, I missed it. Sheesh, the time overlaps getting out of hand. Look at how many of him there are. It's like a zoo. Mm hmm. Oh, I saw. I see the roadkill. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. It <laughs> kneels like what? Okay, let's keep going. Oh, 
Oh jeez, look at the time. I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Martha. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place. It's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... Shit. Duh. We need to go back. Now. Wait, what's wrong? What's going on? Just shut up and come. It's really... intense music. What is happening? God, his mom hit him with the car. His mom hit him with the fucking car. Oh my god. Oh my god. She almost killed her fucking kid. That's why he doesn't remember anything. That's why he had shit to make- or basically erase his memory because his mom hit him. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this from- seeing this here when he never did? Still, I'm just surprised that he survived. Actually, he didn't. Er, what? Didn't you see in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Joey, can you hear me? Oh my god, so he had a twin. He had a brother. Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey? Wake up, Joey. Wake up! That's why she calls him Joey, because of her son she killed. Oh my god, that makes sense. That's why she's always calling him Joey, and not Johnny. I'm triggered, Joey. Even though they were young. To lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. <clears throat> At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked, not erased. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. At least I don't really think she... At least, I don't really think she called jo Johnny Joey as a nickname. But if she then takes Johnny, af Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Received note, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. That's fucked. That is so fucked, dude. Dude, you should totally give this series a try. I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. I've already plowed through three books straight. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. Meh, I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, rah, 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 rah. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Stop that. Hehe. <laughs> Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. And I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich, and buy both you and Ma really big houses. How would you get rich if you gave a if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? 
Aw, oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? Look, it's not just about that day. You know Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter, and the time I went fishing, and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll get... She'll just get me another one, right? Listen, Johnny. What difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. You're my twin brother, dude. You're like a part of me. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. Wait, in the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on. Receive no animorphs. What is this note on the animorphs? Joey's. It was Johnny and then said Joey's favorite. Johnny's twin brother, deceased since childhood. Night of Marie Licks established. What do you mean? I have all of them. The fuck. Some kind of carnival, huh? Shall we look around? How about I look around and you just stand here? How about we continue speaking in the form of questions for the next hour? Quit blabbering and go already. Aw, you ruined it. Fruits, fresh fruits. Apples, oranges, and tomatoes, we got it all. Wait a minute, tomatoes aren't fruits? Uh, yeah, they are. They're the ovaries of the plant and contain seeds, that's what a fruit is. But come on, tomatoes? We never ever refer to them as fruits. We who? I happen to enjoy cooking in groups, okay? Some of us take it very seriously. I am immediately offended. But I don't want this stupid toy. I want the train. That's the only train left. Do you want to exchange your prize for a taper instead? No, I just want the train. Now, now, John, don't make a scene. Joey won it fair and square, didn't he? But I want it too! He just went first. Heh, <laughs> it's okay. I'll let you play with it too. See how nice your brother is, Johnny? Okay, you dumplings. Don't block the stand now. Come on, let's go see what's over there. I'm not a dumpling. <laughs> Me. You know what? I'm gonna call you dumpling from now on. You're bluffing. Hey, is that whack-a-mole? Whack-a-what? Whack-a-mole! You take a mallet and you whack moles. Isn't that animal abuse? They're fake moles, butthead. It's how people blow off steam before FPS was invented. How primitive. Yeah, it's pretty ghetto. Where'd you read about it? My grandpa was a fan. Wanna play? Just hit everything on the head and you win. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Uh, yes. Oh god, it's recommended to play with a mouse. Son of a bitch. Alright, let's do it. Eh, 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 My mouse isn't configured right. Just kidding. Huh. And my mouse keeps showing up weird. Time's up! What did I win? Let's see now. Out of 48 total targets, you struck 55 times and made 44 successful hits. That's a 91% hit rate. It's your new record. Thanks. I did good. Alright, another over here. Ah yes, fortune's a wonder are ahead of you. This one might just become a lawyer, and this one a doctor. Oh my! Come on, I'm getting both of you treats. Hey, where's my tip? I love that I have to hunt them down. Damn it. Give me another memory then. 
Do I have to talk to you to get a memory again? No way, I ain't talking to her. Good or bad, I'd be screwed either way. Same. Okay. Sorry, children. Welcome and behold, the world's smallest Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? Absolutely not. Does it even work? Absolutely not. <laughs> Looks like someone just glued some chairs to a water wheel. Don't know, don't know, care. Well, I have a memory now, I can go. I love that. There is a bush in my way. So unreasonable. Hello. Mm -mm. I can never understand you, Joey. How can you stand the taste of them? They're just so sour and icky. Sour and awesome is what you mean. Just try it. Nah, I don't even want to taste regular olives. You should try at least one, Johnny. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Nah. I'm done, though. Can I go play? Okay, but only at the playground and not an inch too far. Just leave that bag. I'll keep it for you. No, it's mine. I want it. And so he likes pickled olives because of his brother. Joey's favorite. Yep. Everything that jo they thought Johnny's favorite is all Joey. Because... Five! over here. Hi. I'm just gonna continuously go around and hope I can... Hey! Still selling fruits. Okay. That can't be the smallest ferris wheel in the world. I just rode on a four-seater last month. The world's smallest ferris wheel, everybody! Come to see and be odd! That can't- okay, uh, alright. Uh, is this not the playground? Am I- am I in a wrong spot? There's a hammer. Oh, this is a memory. Okay. Whoops, save. Now I have all the memories. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, tiny Johnny. Johnny. Jo Johnny boy. Johnny boy. Way to follow mom's orders, huh? Johnny, you little shit. Johnny. Johnny. Is Johnny boy. Where you go? Johnny, why are you. Johnny. Jesus Christ, Johnny. Why'd you stop? What? Johnny. 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 Johnny, I'm like on top of you right now. What are you doing? Johnny. Jesus Christ, Johnny. Wow. so he wandered off the trail and found a cool place. But let's face it, he could have also been eaten by a pack of tigers. Tigers don't travel in packs, idiot. It was just an expression. You know, when I was a kid, my grandpa took me stargazing every year. Yeah? There was a hill outside of the city that we'd stay at. The same one every year. 
We'd watch the stars till daybreak. Well, I did mostly. He just carried the telescope for me. Of course. The thing was, though, Ma didn't want me to stay up late. Grandpa always told her that we were just camping and hid the telescope inside the car. That's all good, but when we got back in the morning, I had to pretend like I actually slept. So in conclusion, that's the story how I started my caffeine addiction. You're terrible. I know. It's a shame, though. All these nice memories lost and never found. And who knows how many more like it. Well, as you say, just take it moment for moment, right? Mm-hmm. Oh shit, I told you packs of tigers dwell here! It's Baby River! It's Little Baby River! Hello! Wait, don't go! I'm Johnny. What's your name? So cute. You're at my spot. Your spot? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hog this place all to myself. Um, you want to join me? Are you here to watch the stars? Are you? Don't answer a question with a question. I say it as that's something, a common thing I do. It's a very common thing. There were so many lights in the sky? Yes. Oh, uh, I did too. You said this was your spot, right? Only during the carnival. Not a fan of the crowds? Me neither. You know, you still haven't told me your name yet. I'm not telling you. Everyone makes fun of it in school. Why? They say it makes them want to go to the washroom. Uh, okay then. Well, it can't be worse than John. I mean, everywhere in the world, nearly everyone's named John. Even in India? Probably. That's me with my name. What's wrong with that? Hmm? What's wrong with having a name that everyone has? Well, it's boring, I guess. I mean, if everyone has it, then what's the point? I wouldn't mind. Just for once, to have the same name everyone else has. It's like those lights in the sky. They all look the same from here, but that doesn't make them any less pretty. Oh, eh, I suppose. What do you think of those stars up there any are anyway? My dad said they're giant burning spheres of gas. Oh, I bet he's just making it up. Why would he lie to me? Because, you know, that's what grown-ups do. They make things up. Santa, Easter Bunny, kangaroos. <laughs> Who told this child kangaroos aren't real? <laughs> Have you ever made an Easter Bunny out of stars? Like a constellation? Yes. Um, of other things? Never tried a rabbit, though. Do you want to make one? Yeah, we'll make the bestest constellation ever. Let's see who makes one out first. My heart. I'm running on no sleep. This is hurting my heart. Okay, we'll start in three. Three, two, one. And start. I see it. Er, where? In the sky. Um, but where in the sky? Think big. Eh. Bigger than all the others. I don't know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I see it! Tell me what you see. There, right. Th there, there's two ears and a head. What else? And there. There's its two feet. Yes, what else? And, and the moon. The moon is its big round belly. Where are you seeing this? 
Oh. I was like, what the fuck are you seeing? So that's that's why she asked that question all the time in the memories of like, what else do you see? What else do you see? What else do you see? Because that's what he did as a kid. So what do you think they really are? The stars, I mean. I... I've never told anyone, but... I've always thought they were lighthouses. Billions of lighthouses, stuck at the far end of the sky. Wow, it must be so lively up there. But it isn't. They can see all the other lighthouses out there, and they want to talk to them. But they can't, because they're all too far apart to hear what the others are saying. All they can do is shine their lights from afar. So that's what they do. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses, and at me. Why you? Because one day, I'm going to befriend one of them. That bag, what's in it? Oh, it's the prize I won from Wacko Mall. Did you get to play that game? I tried, but I'm too clumsy. What did you get from it? I got a thing. I don't really know what it is. Oh my god, it's the platypus. Oh, it's so cute. It's some kind of weird duck beaver thing. May I see it? It looks so strange. I wish I could win one myself. Johnny? Eek! That's Ma calling. Here. You know what? Keep it. It's yours. Mine? Yeah, I can always get another. I don't like to brag, but I'm totally the best at that game. Will you be here next year? Yep, will you? Yes. Same place, same time? Yes. What if you forget or get lost? Then we can always regroup on the moon, silly. Right on the rabbit's tummy. Johnny? Coming! Oh yeah, I forgot my hacky sack in the bag. You said you're clumsy, right? Maybe it'll help. God, I literally want to cry. This is too pure. This is too pure and innocent. I literally want to cry. Oh my god, I hate emotions. I'm so emotional of a person. It's so bad. It's so stupid. I will, I will not cry about anything in my own life, but as soon as it's something else like this that's cute, I start sobbing. It's so bad. Ugh. Uh. They ever get lost? Wait, does that mean... Don't tell me you didn't see that coming. And here I thought this was going to be an inspirational childhood dream story. I should have known that some girl would come along and turn into a cheese fest. I suppose now we know what we must do to send him to the moon. Wait, you aren't actually going to do it, are you? It's our job, Neil. It's what we are, contra we, what we are contracted to do. Damn it, Eva, wait! Eva. They're gonna just let him die. I know you're in here. What is- I just wanna look at the note real quick. Uh... Okay, so the moon's up here. Where Johnny and River are to regroup, they get lost from each other, which means he's going to die. I'm gonna stop this episode here, though. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I literally am so emotional. <laughs> like, I'm inside emotional. I'm not outside emotional, but inside emotional. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit like. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video, whatever I make. Stay beautiful, friends. Bye.